Alright, what's up? I thought I would go ahead and do another video. I was going to show Ice Films on XBMC. I'll do that in a second. I noticed some people saying that they didn't see some of the APKs on their USB drive. Um, I'll go ahead and show you um, Astro File Manager, at least how I install stuff. In fact, I had just found another Facebook that I was going to try, so we will long press on this, and I'm going to uninstall the uh, Facebook for mobile that I have. Easy enough. Yes, I do. Quick, easy way to delete anything, just pop it on your home screen and uninstall it. Go in here, I've got my Astro File Manager right here. If you go on to My Files 2, it'll take you straight to your USB. And this is everything I have on my USB drive right now. Um, let's see here, I got a uh, tablet app. I was going to try uh, Facebook. I'll uh, do a review on it later if it actually does work, but I figured at least I could show you how to install something straight from USB. Uh, and that's, I mean, simple enough. Install it. And hopefully it will actually be compatible. I'll go into that one later. And uh, just click my home screen and come back. And I'll go ahead and show XBMC. I know I have Ice Films running on this. It does take a little bit for it to, I guess, uh, read through all the movies. I've noticed it, it can take it a minute or two to populate. Um, that said, we'll go ahead and go into it. Let's see. Video add ons. And I'll post the link in the description again so you can uh, know how to install XBMC Hub. Follow the instructions completely. It tells you exactly how to install everything. Uh, adds a lot more repositories in here so you can have, I mean, live stream, ice films, uh, Pandora. It, it will add a lot more to XBMC than what's already in there. Uh, let's go to movies. And directories. I was running Idiocracy off this, so maybe I'll just go back to that movie. Move over a little bit. Plenty of movies in here. Uh, here's Idiocracy. And then just choose a source to play it from. Some of them have a CAPTCHA, some don't. Um, just use the uh, on-screen keyboard and you can type in the captures just fine. I don't think this LU one, I don't believe it has a captcha. I believe like on the BU one, I know that one, you have to type that word in. Uh, this is streaming 720 over shitty internet and it doesn't look too bad. I've noticed a couple of hiccups here or there, but um, nothing really that bad in, in, in the speed. For the most part, these have been pretty seamless. Go ahead and let it get into a little bit of the beginning. It looks a little blurry on my phone. I probably need to mess with some of the light settings on it. As the 21st century began. This is good. It's got a lot of movies. It's got TV shows. Um, usually any new stuff. I, I think I watched a TV show pilot on here earlier, so yeah, there's a lot of a lot of good material in here. I mean, for a, a streaming service that's free, just a little work to get it installed, and it plays pretty damn good. I'm not going to get too far into it. Let's go back on here. What's nice is it also has an extra little uh, program you can download. I think it's like 1.7 megs, and it'll give you the information on the movie. Um, so, yeah. That is XBMC running um, Ice Films, and that was also Astro File Manager and uninstalling and installing an app. Um, pretty simple to, to mess with. Um, in fact, I'll go ahead and move that Facebook over to my... Uh, home screen and I'll mess with that here in a minute and see if it works any better than the crap I was using before so uh, that's it for right now um, I'll do another video later and show something else running on here but ice films works great it streams great 
I mean, I've got really slow internet on DSL, and the movies seem to stream very well. Um, Alright, um, I'll post another video up probably later on. I'll just start kind of going through some apps and show some stuff, so stay tuned. Peace out. Take care.